about the IRS um, Eternal Revenue Code. What is an employee? What it is not. They're taxing people because the people think that they're employees. You see the problem? So let's check it out. Therefore, according to the wording of the law itself, the FICO tax does not apply within the 50 Republic States of the Union. Only fictitious corporations fraudulently called possessions of the United States for misinformation purposes, trickery and theft of the birthright of the people. This is clear when one comprehends the limitations of the direct taxing authority of the federal government as contained in the Constitution under Article 1, Section 2, Clause 3, and Article 1, Section 9, Clause 4. Y'all go check out those two um, sections. Go check out Article 1, Section 2, Clause 3, and Article 1, Section 9, Clause 4. Both of which prohibit, meaning it stops, it denies, you, it can't happen. Any federal direct tax within the Republic States of the Union, other than those laid on the 50 state governments in proportion to their respective populations, said populations consisting of European only. And so it's, it's a territory laid over the organic Republic states. Go review those. But check this out, you all. <clears throat> an employee. What is an employee? We have to be clear about what an employee is because a lot of people have jobs. Um, so in the code, there are many definitions that are limited in their applications by words such as for purposes of this chapter, for purposes of this sub chapter, and for purposes of this sub part. In contrast, the Internal Revenue Code, Section 402, contains definitions of terms upon which there are no such limitations upon their applications, so the definitions therein apply throughout the entire Eternal Revenue Code, Section 402D, states as follows. Section 1402D, Employee and Wages. The term employee and the term wages shall have the same meaning. The term employee and the term wages shall have the same meaning. So if you say you're an employee, you're prop I mean you're just like money. As when USED in chapter twenty one, section three one zero one and following relating to Federal Insurance Contribution Act. Note, the absent in this code definition of any word of limitations, such as for purposes of this chapter or for purposes of this subchapter, this definition means, therefore, that whenever and wherever the term employee and wages are used anywhere throughout the Eternal Revenue Code, their applications are limited to those people involved in activities within the four Island corporations, possessions only, the same as in chapter 21, the FICO tax chapter. What, a, what employee is and is not. Whenever a tax is imposed, there is, always, there is always a section containing words such as, there is hereby imposed a tax. But in this chapter, in 24, no such wording exists in any section. So clearly, this entire chapter merely sets forth the procedures for collecting taxes imposed elsewhere in the Eternal Revenue Code by the withholding methods described in the code sections of the chapter. Provisions of this withholding chapter are applicable only to employees as defined in Code Section 1402 shown above and 3401 reproduced here. Another definition for employee is, for purposes of this chapter, the term employee includes an officer, an employee, or elected official of the United States, a state, or any political subdivision thereof, or the district 
of Columbia or any agency or instrumentality of any one or more of the foregoing. The term employee also includes an officer of a corporation. An officer of a corporation. Let me show you something else interesting. When people say that they have a residence, let's see what it what it means. Citizenship and residence denotes a fictitious meaning. Fictitious mean is fake. Citizenship and residence denotes a fictitious entity. So this, in fact, so this, in fact, references a corporation. Moors cannot be citizens of a British colony and resident is a word used to trick the people. Res means to identify. In Black's Law Dictionary, res is defined as a thing, an object. So you unknowingly identify yourself as a thing, res, identify. Within the United States or on or in connection with an American vessel. So it's not an American, but an American vessel or American aircraft under a contract of service, which is entered into within the United States or during the performance of which and while the employee is employed on the vessel or aircraft it touches at a port in the United States. The above affirms that the people have been treasonously converted to fixtures, fictions, entities, properties of the United States of America. This is prima facie evidence of treason. The United States as defined in the Internal Revenue Code, the term employment means a service performed by one identified by the term employee within the United States Islam so just briefing on correcting the position of the IRS Islam be sure to get this as this deals with status correction and dealing with the nationality um, so let's be cognizant let's be unified in our efforts as we transverse forward as the ethers rise, as the vibrations rise, let's make sure we rise and we work together. Correcting the positions, Islam.